we're gonna try something. I have had this Tim Holtz stamp, Cityscapes. Oh gosh, long time, three years? I'm trying to see if it has a date on it. No. And since we're doing summer in the city, I store some of my big stamps, theoretically by theme, <laughs> in some of these big Ziplocs because they're forever falling off all this kind of stuff once they get used. So I have a piece of deli paper. This is not a lesson because I never know what I'm doing. Now, don't do, especially don't do this. I'm going to stick this thing back to this. Stick this one upside right. I think this is kind of appropriate for what we're going through in the world right now. Let's see. Who's in trouble? I haven't heard so much stuff from Australia. New York, yes. Rome, yes. London, yes. All right, but we're going to stamp this all over pattern of these cityscapes. What is, is that what it's called? Air travel. No, cityscapes. This must be from something else. Okay, cityscapes. All right, and we're gonna use this as our background. Work hotel, I don't know what that means, but guess what I finished? I finished my traveler's notebook from my trip to Missouri, except for, well, it's three fifths of the way done. I take that back. There's no journaling on it. And I want to add some, um, a little bit more ephemera. I added, I got in all of the stuff that I collected and my pictures and all of the, so a couple titles, all of that done. So now let's see if this works. I still have, this is still the same day, FYI. This is still Wednesday. I have cut myself and got paint in it twice. I have green paint in my cut here. So I'm pretty sure I will never get the coronavirus. Knock on wood, I shouldn't brag about that, I guess. All right, see? That's working. Now, I don't want them to go the same direction. Do I? Mm. I don't know. I love these stamps. Let's see. Could only get. Oh, my. Yep. Yeah, well, they're okay. They're doubled up a little bit, overlapping. Oh, I hate the smell of stays on. Does anybody else hate the, help, hate the smell of stays on ink? Ugh. All right. I'm holding this up because I don't want this ink all over my mat, even though I think it'll. No, stays on won't wash off. on here still so let's do this even though I think they're going to be twice in a row oh well all right and let's just do New York and Australia oh, maybe we can get three on here I don't know I guess I could like run it off the page but well I am going to be running it off the page Okay, right here. Loving that. Let's keep this out of here for today. All right, now. I 
Should we do the top of that one right there? Do I have any ink left? No. Okay. You know, I love... Okay. That's good. All of the extra effort by all the people, at least that I watch, not too many on YouTube, of putting up videos just to have people. They're all, everybody's home, most everybody. And um, everybody's like trying to help each other out since we're all housebound. Now, I watch um, a little bit. Because I'm, I'm not a knitting person, like knitting person, but that's where I started watching YouTube was through knitting. Um, and then I discovered art on YouTube. And I was like, oh, 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 that's right up my alley. Okay, this is the page I'm using today. Now, this is going to be the telltale sign. Yeah, I think it'll be okay. Just shove like pictures come or color coming through. And I think I am going to, but Arnie and Carlos, which are some famous Norwegian knitters, <laughs> they're doing a podcast every day from their house in Norway. Um, it's just our, at least we have all this technology, right? All right. I don't want the cut edge, the teeth to show. Oh, maybe not. This is the only idea I have so far. But I had it, so I decided to go ahead and film your next video the same day. I rarely do that. Okay, now, maybe I'll just do part of it, because I don't want to ruin this, and I don't know what else to do. Summer in the city. Now we have our city. That can go somewhere. I thought about making buildings i just painted here let's do this we can do this again now i painted um a bunch of composition notebooks jelly plates and magazine pages and i thought about cutting out building shapes rectangles and putting them down and i was going to use this because this is from a children's book and it happens to be about cells. And it repeated the word protoplasm. What happens when protoplasm shapes up as a cell? And I thought, that's kind of appropriate for right now. <laughs> and I actually used it in my Hobonichi. I'll show you. <laughs> this is how crazy my Hobonichi goes sometimes. Yesterday was St. Patrick's Day for us. Tuesday. Didn't even remember. But I found clovers out in the yard. No four-leaf ones. And so I put them on there. And um, this is all the virus, virus, beavers, talking about the Scotland Farmer show that I'm watching on Amazon Prime that I love. Found this. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I just choked. Nothing going on. Just choked. Um, I found this in... Time Magazine or something. Crisis mode. World crisis mode. But then here's the cell. Thought, so I thought, well, do I put it in here? Or on this side of the tippet? I might just tip it in there. I don't know. I'm trying to use up some of these papers that I have from all these kits. Anyhow, so I thought, okay, well now do I make buildings out of magazines and things like that or do I make rectangles out of these 
And then this idea came to me. And I kind of like this as a building shape, but I don't want to lose that and it wouldn't make sense. And I love that. Summer in the city. I know I have the word summer someplace. Or I could just use letters. But that's kind of obvious. I'm trying to stay away from the obvious as much as possible. Summer in the city. Hmm. I might hold off to the rest of this tomorrow when I'm supposed to. The new people, I film the day before you see the video, unless there's an issue. Um, and I edit it and then I schedule it to go up early in the morning. But, um, I just had to do this. And that's why I have paint all over me. But aren't these beautiful? Look at these. All right, we'll do a jelly plate show and tell. Now I'm just doing, this is just the first layer. This is actually two layers, but I mean, this is just rudimentary. But this is composition notebook paper, so it's super thin. And it has lines on it, which I don't mind. I love this. Here's magazine paper, which I love the crinkle and crinkliness of this. This is my favorite. This was already painted a little bit. And this is out of a children's textbook about world history. And I added more to it. Oh, I love this. I just love how these feel, right? Right. I am slowly but surely weaning, and I mean slowly, weaning things. Use it, use it, use it, quit hoarding it. Use it, use it, use it. Oh, you know what? I brought home a bunch of stamps from the beach. I'm just talking this through with you. I store my little stamps in these old fashioned photo albums. The ones that come in, like the um, Kelly Perky kits and Allie Edwards kits. It seems like there's a summer one. Okay, that's Amy Tangerine. Sunglasses. This doesn't actually say summer. This is Kelly Perky. I love this of the clothes. You can make paper dolls. Little title things. Selfies. That was Kelly Perky. Tags. Hmm. Autumn. No, that's... This is a Christmas one, but look at those little stars. Huh. All right, no summers there, but I have acrylic stamps coming out a wazoo all of a sudden. All right, let's see here. Oh, sick day. I knew there was one. I want to use these in my Hobonichi for the virus. Oh, there's an acrylic block. Where have you been? It's amazing what you find. Key to a happy marriage. That was for wedding invitations for 
my husband's daughter. And that wedding is no longer. <laughs> um, I know there's more stuff in here. I don't care if this video is long because I'm going for the long ones right now. So everybody has something to watch. Palm trees. I cannot tell you how old this is. First acrylic stamp I ever owned. Well, it's not acry acrylic, it's rubber, but you put it on a, an acrylic block. Journaling. Birthdays, letters letters seagrass oh that could be used for the beach now i have stored some stuff in here and old dvds the adventure begins state national parks florida lees and things winter time i'm looking for summertime people all right let's see what's in here really cool um like collage of a book page craziness here i love this stamp made in france love that script a bunch of borders, more words. Hmm. Not coming up with summer. This may not be all though. Now, I should have summer stamps. Or stickers. Oh. What is this? Oh, like tiny florals. Oh, but these are pretty recent. World. This ephemera that I recently bought. There's summer stuff in here. If not, I'm gonna pause you. Ooh. And get my act together. What fun is that? Oh, oh, I knew I had something like this. Now that I finished my journal. This is vintage ephemera. All kinds of stuff. And I think I got this off of Etsy, but I don't remember where. I love all this old stuff. I'm getting into the glue books. These might go in glue books. All these beautiful vellum flowers. January. Now I have tons of books. Used books. Thrift shop books. I might just have to go through one of those and look for something that says summer. Peter Rabbit. Oh, 
some kind of title blocks butterflies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. More. Ooh, summer drinks. Receipts. This is a lot of vellum things. Something screams summer on one of these. I'm gonna. I'll stop. Otherwise, I'm gonna go through it pretty fast. A lot of baking dots, sweet chocolate, butter. I love those. Food, food, measuring cup, milk bottle labels, cheese, chocolate, cute little kids. I think these all have, some of them have sticker backs, some don't. Pasteurized dairy. How to set a table. My mother would appreciate that. Nope. Something, nothing screams summer there. I could find some old ladies in bathing suits. That would be fun. Like the old kind of bloomer type bathing suits. Oh my gosh. These are gorgeous. There's an old lady, but they're all in fancy hats. Hats, hats, fairies. Oh, look at these chandeliers. Europe. Fairies, teapots, chandeliers, fairies, skeleton, butterfly, silverware, curtains. No fancy ladies in bathing suits. Rats. I wonder if Tim Holtz People has anybody in fancy bathing suits. Or could I find something on the intranets, the intrawebs? All right. One more. No, two more. Ooh. Here's another one of those kind. I wonder if Tim Holtz's people have anybody in bathing suits. Probably not. They're all like in coats and things. Oh, 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 hold your water. Hold your water. Southern expression. I know I have a summer magazine from now. Can I find it? All right. This one is French to do a Paris journal with. But let's see if we can find some ladies in bathing suits. When was this? This was in... 1956, before I was born. Grace Kelly, rugby. This is just going to be a long video, people. Keep you entertained during um, quarantines.
Ingrid Bergman. We'll just look at vintage magazines. How about that? Rum. Who is this? Giovanni Goreshi. That looks like the balcony in um, Phantom of the Opera. That's ice skaters. Ah, oh, Prince Charles. Wow. I don't even know who this is. Okay. No stuff there. Oh, gotta put this someplace where it won't get messed up. Okay, this is holiday. It's in Florida and it's January 1948. Hello? Hello. <gasps> here we go. Summer right here. Southern Pacific. All of these people like, oh, this is perfect. What's on this side? TWA. Just like Traveler's Notebooks. All right. Perfect. So I'm going to take this. And take this off. Take the bottom part off. Save that. One of these, the TWA one. Are these well loved or are they well loved? I have another one down at the beach. But these darn things are like $20 now. And who knows if we would even get it anymore. Right now. Oh, I love this. Need a rest? Fly to the Southwest for a quickie vacation in the land of sun. All right. Well, now that is kind of strange because it has cactus and uh, well, there could be cactus in these cities, I guess, but it is obviously like Arizona, New Mexico. I hate to tear this pretty edge, but oh well. Voila. Now, do I just do this? Summer in the city. <laughs> is boring as that is I think that's what I'm gonna do because I love that all right some of this vintage paper you have to be careful with when was that magazine 1948 my mom was eight years old during this magazine and now she's gone Where's my Stabilo? I'm gonna do this. Love this, love this. Not bad for two in one day and a journal today. Lord have mercy, what has gotten into me? And some cleaning and some laundry and a delivery to my sister who's six miles down the road but still 
a lot of effort on my part to go six miles. <laughs> okay. She might be seven. Anyhow, eight. Let me see. That's the good thing about stays on. As much as it smells, it doesn't get smeared when you go over it with water because it's permanent. I love that. Summer in the city. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, where am I going to write the song title? Let's see here. Ooh. Should we write it on this guy's arm? Yes. Let me see if I can't drag. Hold on a sec. Summer in the city. Oh. <laughs> Love it. So everybody, thank you for watching. Really, stay smart, stay kind, stay safe, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.